Where is Pyro? Tell me. What did you do to him? Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all Spyro games for the Nintendo Wii. The Legend of Spyro The Eternal Night is a poorly executed game. It's repetitive and frustrating. What you will mostly do in the game is button mash your way through waves of enemies. The controls are clunky and the combat isn't fun at all. Some arenas are too difficult and most of the game is just sloppy and feels unbalanced. You get to unlock again the same powers as in the last The Legends of Spyro game, meaning that you unlock fire, ice, earth and lightning. And you also get a time dilation ability which makes things move in slow motion. You get some nice special attacks, but you can't enjoy these things because of how unbalanced the game feels. You die in 5 hits, while enemies take forever. When you escape the exhausting, repetitive combat, you get some platforming sections, which are again poorly executed. The controls don't always respond, especially when you have to double jump, it seems that the game doesn't always register the second jump, which will cause too many annoying deaths. But at least a good part is that the Wii version is way better than the PS2 version. It's more polished, it doesn't have the frame rate issues the PS2 version has, and the controls are more responsive. But even so, I still consider the game pretty bad. The Legend of Spyro Dawn of the Dragon takes a bad game and adds gameplay elements upon it without fixing what was wrong. The game is still frustrating, unresponsive and sloppy, but at least you get more, right? You play as two characters, Cinder and Spyro, each with special abilities which you can also upgrade. You can now fly, and with so many invisible barriers around you, the developers assured that you won't be enjoying the game. The camera has some bad angles, and you can change the camera angle only in some of the levels, not in all of them. Overall the game is bad, the only good part about the game is the music and the graphics and maybe the story, but in gameplay, the game is poorly executed, and throughout the playthrough, if you intend to play it till the end, you will encounter plenty of annoyances, that will convince you that the game isn't all that good, it's playable, but it's far from being one of the best games on the Wii. Skylander Spyro's Adventure is a pretty good game in what the gameplay is concerned. But in order to get to the gameplay, you will need the game, a portal toy, and figurines. Many figurines. Even if you get the Spyro figurine with the box, you will still need more, not only to add variety, but because in case you die, you have one more life. The game is in some ways similar to a pay to win. All Skylander toys are compatible with the game. Well. All Skylander toys released for the Wii version, just watch out that not all Skylanders are compatible with the Wii version. Only these ones that appear now on screen. But be careful that figures that were released after Spyro's Adventure won't be compatible with your game. For example my PS3 Skylander figure won't be compatible with Spyro's Adventure because it was released after Spyro's Adventure. And at the time the Wii game was made, my figure didn't exist, but luckily, if you have a portal and figures, you can play all of the future Skylander games with the same equipment, so they are interchangeable. The only principle is that newer figures won't work on older games. And the reason why I called the game a pay to win is that in the box you get only 3 figures, the rest you have to buy. Which means that if you want more lives in the game, you will have to pay for it. Once you have the figurines, just place them on a portal and you switch characters instantly in the game. And that's why I call it somewhat of a pay to win. The more money you invest in figurines, the more lives you have in the game. And the more characters you have. And the characters at least feel different and have different abilities. Also, if you want, you can get power-up figurines to boost your characters. On the gameplay department, the game is good. Most of the time, it's a brawler with puzzles. You get some on-rail action, boss battles, 
The game is good, but to get to the game, you need to buy the equipment. The game, a portal and figurines. Many people talk trash about the game, but it's actually good, at least in my opinion. I used to play it with a friend that had a Wii and all the equipment, the portal, the figurines, everything. So the memory isn't fresh, but I remember having fun in the game.